welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. Today I'm back with a video requested by a lot of you guys. Um, so last week I did a video called What's New Beauty and I just basically showed you all of the products that I received recently, not even all of them, like a load of products that are, have been out recently and um, asked you if there's anything that you wanted to see a review on, if you wanted me to do mini reviews and you said yeah, so I said okay and now I'm back today to show you what Bourgeois have in store at the moment because there are some amazing products that are out. We have new base, we have new cheek stuff, we have new eyebrow stuff, we have new mascara stuff, we have new lip stuff, we have new nail stuff. <sighs> That's a lot of stuff. I'm heading out with the girls tonight so I thought I would do one of those get ready with me videos but I just talk my way through doing my face. If you want to see how I made my face look like this then keep watching. So we're going to start with the nude sensation foundation and this comes in a little dinky little pot and um, this is the shade 41 nude clear. I'm not sure how many um, shades this comes in I will try and find more information but look it just it's like this kind of like peachy moussey texture and I'm going to use the Real Techniques what is this face expert face brush to apply this. And you can see that it just blurs away um, like imperfections and pores and everything while not giving a huge amount. Like it gives, I'd say, like a light to medium level of coverage. But it matches my skin tone perfectly. Because I thought when I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's going to be darker or too peachy for me. But you can see that it just works with my skin beautifully. But I've been wearing this quite frequently to work because um, I'm really enjoying the finish that it gives. I'm enjoying the longevity. And I just seem to be packing it on because I can't really see myself. <laughs> I'll have a look at myself up close in a minute. In a minute. It's, just, it's got like a really weird texture. But this just, it smooths over the skin so easily. And it seems to like fill in the pores, which I enjoy. Um, and also just evens out my complexion rather nicely. This has quite a silicone texture and feel. So if you don't like that, look for something else. Um, and as well, if you have dry skin, you might want to properly moisturise, like give yourself a really deep moisturisation before you apply this because it can cling to dry patches if you have any. It's just a really nice light summery brace. I love it. Like I could go out with that. I didn't have to like powder it or anything. Totally enjoying it. So they've also come out with these eyebrow markers, which I'm totally in love with, but I just need to turn them upside down because I find if you don't do that um, while you're mid eyebrow it can dry out a little bit. So there's three shades for really really fair people, for people like me with kind of mouse brown hair and then darker ones. I will use the middle shade and I'll get up closer so you can see how much of a mess I'm going to do with this. Okay let's see if I can do this without making an absolute mess of the whole situation. So you can see that it has a really fine point on the end and so that means you can use the top to like be really really precise and you can also use the side which is what I like to do very nervous about doing this on camera and um, to kind of fill in the brows a little bit more so I like to drag it along the bottom and just create like a straight line and bring it through my eyebrow if that makes sense up to the top and then I use that as my guide for the top if you just use really light strokes light gentle strokes you shouldn't go wild <laughs> I use the pointy part to kind of add a little bit of shape to the inner part. That's probably as good as it's going to get for now. <laughs> now to try and do the other one. So when you're happy with your eyebrows, that's as good as it's going to get. Then you can use a brow mascara um, to keep them in shape. And so there's like a dark one, oh, dark one, medium toned one, really light one, and then a clear one. I think I'll just use the clear one or will I use the light one? I'll find out and see if I really end up like this. <laughs> You can see that the brush is quite long and narrow, meaning that you can use it to catch every single last hair and it doesn't deposit too much product on the brows. And if you want to have like a really easy brow day, you can just put this on your bare brows and it'll just give like a bit of definition and a bit of shape. I don't want anything too crazy. So while you're all up in my grill, I might as well do my mascara. And they have this one that's out now. It's the Push Up Volume Glamour Mascara. And I love it. Let's see if it looks nice on camera as it does in person. Just has a really regular, normal, bristly brush. And let's watch the magic happen. I hope this works out. Do you know that it's always the case where I'm probably gonna start sneezing. I'll poke myself in the eyeball. This mascara is great for giving like length and volume. I'll talk to you in a second. I'll try and speed this up as well. I 
hold my breath and do my mascara and I just go and faint in a second. So that's the mascara, you can see, I just love it. I wear this all the time, just on its own. That's the eyebrows and the mascara done. And in case you're wondering, the Volume Glamour Push Up Mascara also comes in waterproof. I haven't tried this yet, but this is the regular version that I have on now. Loving it, loving it. And I love the packaging as well. Now, continuing on with the complexion end of things, they have these four new products and they're part of the, I think it's the Parisian collection. Um, I'll try and put like a little annotation here. But we have, this is the Sun Illusion. And do you know what? I think it's a repackaged version of this, the bronzing primer that was out a few years ago. I think it was out two years ago. Um, this is like way too dark for me. Like oh, way too dark. But um, let's say you're fake tanned. You can use this as a base, as a foundation. You can use this on top of your foundation as um, contour, as a bronzer. Oh, it smells like chocolate and holidays. Oh, chocolate and holidays. So this is shade 72 dark. So if there's a lighter shade, maybe it will let be less scary. Can you imagine this on my face? And there's a BB cream as well, a bronzing BB cream. And this, again, it's quite dark. This is the lightest shade, I think. This is shade 01 Fair. And I have it here on the back of my hand. So you can see that, yeah, it's quite dark for a BB cream. Maybe blend it out if, if you had a tan, fake tan. Um, it might be nice as a base. It smells gorgeous as well. It's quite perfumed, so if you've sensitive skin, you might need to give that a miss. It blends in quite nicely to my skin. You can see that. But, um, again, too dark for me. But you never know, whenever I start fake tanning, it might be okay. And it feels nice and light in texture. That's the one. It looks quite orange on my hand, doesn't it? I don't know about that. And there's the Sunlight Elixir. And this is essentially a dry oil that you can put all over your body. You can put it in your hair if you want. And it just has the faintest hint of... Not faintest hint. It has like a lot of shimmer in it. But it's really fine shimmer. That's what I was trying to say. And so it gives like this gorgeous glow all over your skin. That makes you look like you've been on holidays even when you haven't been. And again, this smells like holidays. They all smell like holidays. So yeah, this is now, it comes in a glass bottle, so it's not that travel friendly, but, um, and it has SPF 15, which is great. Please just be sunny for like a little bit longer so that I can put this on, Ireland. And finally, my favorite product from this little collection, it's the Matte Illusion Bronzing Powder. It's gorgeous. This is the lightest shade. Look at it. I actually bought this in Spain when I was away and I saw this whole collection I was like okay I just get the bronzing powder and see how I get on oh holy moses this stuff is gorgeous this is so finely milked that I actually couldn't tell if this was a cream or a powder product it's just amazing it's just it's so smooth I'll put it on my face now just that's a little bit of contour okay I'm going to use this brush this is a contour highlight brush from number seven this is supposed to be the contour end I'll give it a go As well, I like to use this on a really big fluffy brush as well to kind of give it like a wash of colour all over the, the skin and the cheeks. This product is so buildable as well. It's so easy to work with. It blends like an actual dream. I feel like I need to have one. This is what happens. In the viewfinder, either one of two things happens. Either my makeup looks really, really faint and not showing up properly but actually looks demented in real life or the opposite so we'll hope for the best that I'm sure listen I can blend it out it's fine contour done now onto cheek products they have these new aqua blushes that are out oh my god they're fabulous there's like a nudie shade a corally shade mm -hmm. and then two pink shades like a lighter pink and a darker pink and these two are really really pigmented this one's odd because it doesn't show up on camera but it shows up beautifully in person um but as I am now on camera, I would like it to show up. So I think I'll go with the Carl one. I haven't tried this one yet, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to add too much, as per usual. Looks like that. I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, dual fiber contour brush. Because I have tried the other ones with my fingers. And I feel that when I use my fingers, it blends away my foundation. If that makes sense. Um, so let us see if using a brush is easier. of a, a bit of curl. If you feel like you've added on too much, then you can always just go back over with your foundation brush. Do not worry. And they feel really nice and cooling on the skin as well. This would be the perfect product for one of those no makeup 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 looks. It gives you a really healthy wash of colour on the skin. Oh, I'm enjoying that. 
I don't need to add any more because in the viewfinder it's strong. Let me look in my mirror. Yeah, see in the mirror it doesn't look like I have anything on. I'm just like applying like a little bit more. It smells like tea. Now I look, I look like I'm making myself into a clown. It's okay. Don't worry, I do this every day. <laughs> I'm of the school of life of more is more when it comes to makeup. That is a lot of blush. One second. <laughs> just get my foundation brush and just fill it up for like a little bit. This It blends into the skin beautifully. It just looks like skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup, which is always nice. I really like that blush. Oh, Carl. Carl's never let me down. Just gives like a nice healthy wash of colour to the skin, which I enjoy. So yeah, no, there's four shades on offer and as you know, I enjoy the curl. The pink one, the pink ones are really quite intense and they're really perfect for um, spring. I like pink cheeks in the spring, curl cheeks in the summer and then kind of like a darker cheek, a neutral cheek in the winter and like autumn. But I wear curl all the time as well now. Time for lips now and I'm going to use one of these glosses. I think I have two more in my bag because um, I am up obsessed with them. They're called the Sweet Kiss Glosses and they promise 10 hours of hydration. I don't know how they figured that out because glosses don't last for 10 hours. Um, but yeah, I have these four and I think as I said I have another couple in my bag. So which one will I go for? Incognito Rose. This is like a neutral lover's, lip lover's dream. They're so thick and unctuous. Like for a lip gloss, they're not sticky at all. and um, They have such great pigmentation and are an actual joy to wear. They give a really wet look to the lips as well, which I love. Except I don't love when it's windy and my hair is down because it just ends up like this. Oh my god, I love that shade so much. As I said, this is the shade 04 Incogni Rose and it's gorgeous. I, I think I wear this one probably more than all the other ones together. And yes, I love that a lot. And I've worn it over lipsticks as well and it goes on beautifully. It only stays for like a little while. I mean, it's a gloss, it's not gonna stay for ages but I totally love it. Feels really comfortable on the lips and I enjoy. It's like the no makeup makeup look. So I showed you some of these polishes in my What's New Beauty video and they are the new ones from Bourjois. They're the Lilac polishes. <sighs> or this one, instant favorite. And I have this one on now, which is the shade for Flamboyant. No, Flamboyant Rose whatever that means. Wouldn't that be gorgeous for the autumn? I saw Siobhan from Let's Make Up. She had her nails done the night of the launch in, in this colour so I was like I need that. And then mm -hmm. and gorgeous dusty nudie pink and the nude one. Yeah, so I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. This is two coats of the rose shade. Now I'm going to do a blog post I think on the nails because my nails are in bits at the moment. My hands are in bits so I'm going to use Joanne's nails for an upcoming blog post to show you swatches and formula and everything. She has really nice nails, really nice hands and um, so yeah. Boots are running an offer with Bourjois at the moment where if you spend 20 euros you can get this box worth 27 euro I think and inside it has a bronzer, a blush, not blush brush, a bronzer brush and one of these colour boost lip pencils which are the business. I own a few of these and I love them. So nice, glossy, hydrating, and um, oh, it's in the shade Peach on the Beach, my favourite one. Those are just some of the products that Bourjois have launched recently, and they've kind of spoiled us a little bit. Like, they've taken care of the eyebrows, new cheek things, new lip things, just makes me happy. And as I said, that foundation, I love it, absolutely love it. Thanks a million for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!